hi guys you're welcome back to my channel on today's video we are going to be making leave-in conditioner with flaxseed and the star of the ingredients today is flaxseed so like usual we're going to be working in three phases water phase oil phase and the cool down phase and to start the water phase we are going to be boiling our flax seed in water so the first thing you want to do is measure here i measured half cup of flax seed and three cups of water after putting your flax seed and water in in a pot you want to bring it to a boil and as the the moment you start seeing this white gooey thin on top <clears throat> just know that your or your gel is ready to be strained so you want to strain this there is a little mistake i made here i allowed this to cool down very well before i strained because i was going to be using a a sea cloth and i need to use my hand to press it and they want to be scaled by how hot hot it was but if you're using a sieve that you don't need to use it to touch you, you need to strain this immediately when it's still piping hot for it to come out from the sieve if not it's not going to come out so mine was already cooled down and because it, as it cools down it thickens up so as it thickens up it's going to be very very difficult to come out of any sieve so what i did to redeem this was that I went back, I poured it back into the pot and added in a little bit of water to loosen it up while it was on fire, you get? So you want to put it back on fire, loosen it up with some water, then you, you try and sieve it when it was it's still hot, okay? So after sieving, this is what I got, okay? This is what I have. So I'm done straining it and look at how thick that gel is it is so so thick even though i added in more water okay the reason why you want to strain when it's hot is so that it's so that it will be able to come out as you're straining it because if it's thick it depends on this kind of sieve you're using it may not come out uh, from your sieve so we're moving on to the oil phase and in this phase we are going to be using bm btms 50 and which is our emulsifier and then cetyl alcohol which is a thickener and as you can see the first thing i'm measuring was a was cetyl alcohol but because my water phase is already thick i decided to, that the quantity i measured was too much so i reduced it i had to just pick out some from it and keep it back into the container so i measured one tablespoon of my btms 50 and then to dissolve this i was going to need oils so here i'm using my cocoa butter one tablespoon of cocoa butter yes this is pure cocoa butter okay and then one tablespoon of my shea butter yeah you can use any career oil of your choice you can decide not to add any butter but i think you should add butter since this is a living conditioner and you want it to nourish your hair so i'm using castor oil as well one tablespoon or so and grapeseed oil sorry i used two tablespoons of castor oil because i need that moisture i need to draw in that moisture and keep it there and you know castor oil helps to retain moisture to the head is a very thick oil and it helps to suit, uh, smooth your cuticles okay and i also added two tablespoons of grapeseed oil and i went ahead and added my favorite oil right now which is my neem oil yes there is no diy without my neem oil okay 
so after that you will have to go ahead and melt this or this um the emulsifier and your thickener in this oil by double boiler method you already know how to do double boiler method right okay so i went ahead and now add my oil and my water face together the remember that my your water phase and your oil phase are supposed to be at the same temperature so if your water phase has cooled down you have to bring it back to the same temperature with your oil phase again and now this is where i will tell you to go and use a deep bowl a deep bowl because obviously i don't have one and it keeps messing up my diys but then who cares i clean it up and then i continue but if you don't want to get a mess like i do you should always do this in a very deep bowl because when you start mixing of course it starts flying away everywhere so the next thing you do is just to you know use your blender and mix it together so yeah use your mixer your immersion blender or your hand mixer to get this to you know marry each other the water phase and the oil phase to marry each other just you know so you get the consistency you want if you want it runny you might want to just check it as you're mixing so so after mixing and you've gotten the consistency you want you want to move on to the third phase which is the cool down phase so this is where you now check the ph level of your product so as you can see me do i am taking just a little bit of my of the product i've just made and with my ph strip i am trying to check the ph level of this product but unfortunately <laughs> let me tell you something unfortunately this ph trip was a flop because on this strip i'm supposed to you know when you put in the product on the strip you're supposed to check and see it change color and then you compare it with the with the numbers on the paper and check what level it is but unfortunately i waited and waited and waited and nothing happened it was just there and nothing happened so i went ahead to add my my preservative because of course i'm making this for the first time and i'm making it for myself so uh, next time i'm going to get a ph uh, meter or something like or something more trustworthy so i went ahead and added my preservative which is sodium um sorry yes sodium benzoate i added half teaspoon right 2.5 mil yeah that's the measurement i used and then i went to her to also add my essential oils yeah you want to add your essential oils at this point but if you don't have essential oils you can skip this your product is already done but i added my essential oils because i had them so i added a uh, rosemary oil my um black seed oil and you know any essential oil of your choice that you have you can just add it at this point mix it together before you add it into your pro your main product now this is where that ph would have helped because after doing this you check your ph again to see that it has not altered your product the this is the main reason why you take just a little portion to do this because when you when the ph alters you have to you know balance your ph before you now introduce this mixture into your main products but as as you you saw me do my ph didn't work but because I am going to i'm not going to be keeping this for a long time i'm just going to use it or even give it out to someone who could use it immediately because this is my first time and the next time i'm doing this i'm going to be doing it properly with a proper ph meter okay so once you do that and you uh, you mix it together with your product you are good to go 
I also added some little bit of peppermint oil. Yes, I added a little bit of peppermint oil to this mixture because of course, I want to get that tingling effect on my scalp when I'm using this product. Because of course, we always want something different in our products, okay? So you can add your peppermint oil or whatever oil you think that you need to, you know, get whatever effect you want from this product. You go ahead and do that, okay? And if you want some fragrance, you can also add it at this point. I added some little bit of lavender fragrance. You can add any fragrance of your choice and it is totally fine because you're making this at the comfort of your home and you're giving it your own signature and whatever it is you want it to look like or to smell like okay so after mixing it together i introduced it to the main product and then mix it together and that is it when you see it done you can go ahead and bottle it up and you are, you have your homemade DIY flaxseed leave-in conditioner. This leave-in conditioner, I can tell you, oh my God, when I used it, ah, mm -mm, when I used it, <laughs> I'm telling you, I am never buying leave-in conditioner ever, ever, ever again. Okay, when you try this, come back and tell me how you felt how your hair felt did it feel pampered did it feel so rich because that is exactly how my hair felt when i used this i mean look at the consistency now look at it negoti look at it just look at my baby oh my god <laughs> i love it so 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 much and the quantity i made with this little thing ah the quantity got me okay let me not even talk about that but look at the consistency of this look at now look at how thick it is okay i got this and then some more okay look at the uh, um I, I don't even know the measurement of these containers but um i think the other one is up to 250 i think yeah the the, the, the the big one was up to 250 mil and this should be around 150 or so yeah but when you're making this just do whatever measurement you, you want i didn't check the measurement before i started and it doesn't really matter does it <laughs> do what you want okay so guys this is the end of this video and i will see you in my next one bye